What's going on guys? I'm Jada Black. Shout out to everybody that is tuning in. I want to talk about this Von Miller situation. Now before this Von Miller situation went viral, uh, I'm recording this Monday the 5th. So this will probably be out the next day. I was actually sent a DM by someone and it was actually a picture of Megan Denise or Megan Denise. All right. There she goes by Megan. And in it, it was that picture. And I look, I said, like, why? He sent me a picture. Then I went back and he sent me the follow-up post from her. And in the follow-up post is a whole bunch of Instagram stories of screenshots from a phone conversation that she had with Von Miller because they dated. And what's interesting about this, now I'm gonna leave the link to all of the receipts to all of the posts in the description box y'all go over to the website i got all of these screenshots not only from everything that she posted as of right now but also his response and his mother's response that will be in the description so y'all can go and check it out and you can judge for yourself but she started going on a rent let me say a rant she started going on a instagram story tirade where she's post leaking all these messages from him when he's denying the kid he's cursing her out he's upset he's basically like he hopes she has a miscarriage that's what he's saying and what i gather from the message is that she is pregnant but she's still posting thirst traps <laughs> you know still posting thirst traps but apparently she's pregnant and it must have caught him off guard he was completely caught off guard by this now in a response to all the posts that she was putting up right he basically was like, it's fake news. This is what happens when you try to leave. It's a trap. And this is what Von Miller is saying. Von Miller should have known that this may not have been the best idea, but she put up screenshots, not only this guy wanting to sleep with her as of a month ago, but also him talking about how he wants to get her pregnant and he's surprised that she did get pregnant you know so either he made up in his mind that he didn't want to have a kid with her anymore and he told her to take birth control and she didn't that's the only thing i can surmise about a situation where a guy is upset about his ex being pregnant and wanting her to have an abortion wanting her to not carry the child a full term and then changing his mind from where it was you know prior you know now i think that i think that when you when you the thing is with vaughn is this they were engaged to each other as of two years ago i made a video about it that video will be in the link to the everything all that will be included in there the video that i did two years ago and i called this out you know two years ago and I spoke about him wifing up a, a female that was an, was an ex-scripper. I believe she worked in Vegas. Um, I believe for a club that Mayweather was running, I believe. Now, she also had dated Lil Yachty before she got with Von Miller. But after, what, four months of dating, they got engaged to each other. <laughs> and... I made a video about it. I'm pretty sure a lot of other people are scratching their heads. Why are you falling so head over heels for somebody who you just started dating? It is because this dude was thinking with the wrong head. And I believe after that, he started to think with the proper head. And he stopped going out in public with her like that. It just became more of an online thing. You'd see him flirting with her in the comment section her and her post them posting pictures together but it wasn't really them being out and about like that it kind of slowed down over the past year or so people say one well, maybe it was seen me it was a little bit before then i think von miller was slowly coming to his senses but it might have been too late now she must have conceived over the last couple of months and they must have had some type of arrangement to where she's on birth control so he can have unprotected relationship with i'm telling you this is why you guys can't trust everything that you're told because it's clear to me that the communication wasn't there or this dude was thinking with the wrong head all right that has gotten him 
in a situation where he's literally telling her in text messages he you know wants you to miscarry he doesn't care about the situation uh, he he's just going completely off on her as if she's pretty much nobody his mother ain't a help he's going to ask his mother like she's supposed to do something you know and then von miller is is texting her and he's completely in his emotions and feelings now there there is two sides to every story right two sides to every story but the one thing i want to know is where did she get these text messages <laughs> these screenshots if you look at the screenshots like the one where he is has like the emojis and being flirtation in the comment section and he's responding to somebody saying you need to put one in her and he's like or oh, he's already doing it whatever right it was like about 20 after 20 minutes and people just i mean people must not have a life but anyway and the thing is with this situation is he's now saying that he got trapped vaughn brother i believe everybody was telling you that wife and this female up and she looks she might be a good person i'm not saying she's a bad person i'm not here to down her or disrespect her in any way but i have to call a spade a spade I'm sure he was warned about her and he got with her anyway. Because honestly, by looking at the exchange, right? By looking at the exchange, it just seems to me that they had an arrangement. It seemed like he really wasn't trying to showcase her as his main, you know, girlfriend. And I believe she knew that. She knew that. That's why when the situation occurred with her getting pregnant, I believe she went off the road and just said, F it, I'm, you know, I'm gonna get something out of it. And she got a baby out of it. And now he feels like he was trapped because he believed what she was saying because the dude was thinking with the wrong head. He was thinking with the wrong head. If you really don't wanna have a child with her, you need to wear protection, bro. You can't trust everything these females are saying to you especially if they feel scorned if they feel like they're gonna relieve leave the relationship with nothing they're gonna do that and i also will say this though this is how she kept him on a leash no it's on a leash that's this is how she kept this is how she kept von miller you know around her so to speak she put his name on her chest well not necessarily von she put vonnie right vonnie could be anybody Vonnie could be a makeup, a made up nickname for all we know, right? So I believe her doing that made it seem like she was only for him. And listen, there were guys that liked that. There were guys out here that want women to tattoo their names on them, right? And I think that's one of the reasons why Vaughn just, he just could not stay away. He felt like in a sense he could trust her because she's putting his name on her chest, which really shouldn't mean anything. Do you know how many women have tattoos of ex-boyfriends, ex-husbands tattooed on them? I mean, this is the same female that has the faces of other men tattooed on her. So is she beyond putting Vani? She didn't put Vaughn. She put, I don't know if his full name is Vonnie, but you know, Vonnie could be anybody. You know, she, she could easily kind of tattoo over it or add to it. And I believe that sort of kept him around, you know, and, and, and away from his better judgment. Seeing that, seeing that she's willing to tattoo his name onto her body kept him coming back i believe that was one of the things that kept him coming back the second thing is because you know he's all i think von has always wanted to be with her that's why he tried to wife her up so quickly and whatever drew him to drew him to her at the beginning was still drawing him to her y'all know what drew him to her come on man i, I, I don't need to say more but um and again gentlemen this is why i don't care how thick these women are i don't care how big the assets are you need to think clearly all right 
you need to think clearly and don't fall for the whole tattooing the name on the chest she could easily tattoo over vani could be somebody else how many people do we know have the same names to other people that we know like come on man this is a small world i mean somebody else could be called vani you know vani could be somebody like a dear family member dear friend friend you know <laughs> don't fall for that this dude really thought that he was in control of the situation because she had his name tattooed on her Vaughn. Sir, it ain't work. And I said it, and I think Vaughn slowly, slowly came to his senses. I said it in my video two years ago, bro, you're wifing up somebody that was in these streets. And he basically said in one in one of the messages that, you know, should, should have left her in the streets. And maybe that's what you should have done, Vaughn. Vaughn, you should have smashed, kept her as a friend with benefit. But you tried to marry her. You were engaged to her. Supposedly. You made her your girl. You was going to make her your wife. And then you realize slowly, this ain't the right decision. So you backed off of that. You backed off of that. And it just became a situation ship. Whenever you want to hit, you call her up. And she knew that. And, and she knew that. At some point, she would get back at you. <laughs> That's what it seemed like. It seemed like to me that she kind of she kind of knew what was coming. That sooner or later he would get with somebody else, and I believe that's what's going on. I believe that's why she's doing what she's doing. She might not even be pregnant. She might not. She might be doing all this to get back at him. Um, because why would you have the ultrasound, all that, and you don't say anything publicly? I mean, you do. You put everything else out there publicly. But you wait to when he is out and about with another female to then bring this up? It's a heck of a coincidence. I think that honestly she realized that he had moved on. That he wasn't going, he's not calling her anymore. He's not texting. The phone is dry. Because we don't even know when those messages were sent to her. These could have been messages that were sent weeks ago months ago we don't know but all of a sudden he's with a new woman he's not calling you he's not texting you because you, you'll be surprised what women will put up with if they like the dude if they think there's a future there are women that will put up with a lot and if and if, and if y'all say that that's not true then you're being very disingenuous there are a lot of women out here who will put up with a lot if they really like a guy, if they really are into him and they really believe his BS, they will put up with anything. And all of a sudden, when he's out on a beach with another woman, you bring these messages to light. <laughs> Nothing is a coincidence. <laughs>